It's the best suggestion we've, I think you've, we've had so far. All right. I mean, this is a guy who can sustain probably better than the Mars can against the Tide Oracle, but from my perspective, I'm still a little bit concerned about the skirmishing power. If we get into raw team fights, this is definitely going to be a nice tool to set up the Monkey King, have this big AoE stun, but I would feel pretty happy playing Oracle in this game, I have to say. I feel like there's very little threat on Fly to just get killed in the backline, get skirmished. It's only really the Monkey King you're worried about. Um, so for EG, when there's a big boy in the front line, like a, an Underlord or a Sven, how do you approach fights? That's my my biggest concern. So the way that I look at EG's draft, because they went for this Tidehunter Lust, it has to be a C Smile on the SF, who's their primary core, and Pakaz has to play a fighting style carry. He has to go for Echo Saber, Diffusal Blade, BKV, things like that, where he can be the hero to play with a track early on, because mm -hmm. SF doesn't take advantage of it, Tide doesn't take advantage of it. So now it's on Pakaz to play that aggressive early mid-game style and have the SF farm up. That, I'd that's, agree with what, that. that's what I see right now. Yep. I would want to see that, potentially. I've seen drafts like this kind of swing in the other direction, where they just try and kind of turtle a bit to farm as much as possible, because I think they do win this later game. That being said, this is a patch of having getting your money from kills, so you have to force it, so... And, EG, and it's EG, it's a uh, South American Dota. These guys they're are gonna, gonna... get kills. They're gonna try and make kills happen, of course. <laughs> I guess Tidehunter does the good hybrid of what you guys are hoping for. Some initiation also takes care of the lane. Melee, Sven going up against Anchor Smash. Life could be pretty good. His initiation has a two and a half minute cooldown. Don't worry yeah, about that. Like uh, that's EG's minute. problem. That's not our problem. <laughs> Just get a shard. <laughs> Just get a shard. <laughs> Tentacles of the Deep. Let's see how game number one goes between Shopify Rebellion versus Evil Geniuses with Cap and SVG. Welcome everybody to Evil Geniuses versus Shopify Rebellion, a grudge match that lives maybe only in our heads, but a grudge match nonetheless. You know what, Avery? This just doesn't feel right. You know, it doesn't quite match the intensity we're looking for. You know, EG, Shopify, they matched up against each other in Lima, lower bracket elimination match, which we need a little bit more. Oh, oh there we go. We need some that. crowd noise in here. I can already hear the whistles coming <laughs> on the next smoke. Fun <laughs> <laughs> for your lives. <laughs> That's right, everybody. This is a matchup that has been in the making since Lima Major. We saw it again, twice in fact, at Dream League. Once in a uh, the initial group stage where they went 1-1, and then a second time in the second group stage where Shopify beat Evil Geniuses again. But the important match, the match that has really got to stick with EG, has got to be the one that happened. Lower bracket elimination match at the Lima Major. A match to get top four at a Valve Major and Shopify denied Evil Geniuses that right to get top four in front of a home crowd. I mean, there's got to be something there. So what, what's left that can be your Greaves Crimson guy? Benno Krobe? Centaur. Nope, that makes sense. I said Krobe. Wow, I feel so old <laughs> now. Death, for, death, death, for, death Prophet could have worked. Centaur, okay. Um, yeah, or a buyer that can get a fast Vanguard against Troll. Also it completely fine. It's also a typical Disengage. counter to Doom, right? Yep, Disengage when a, for Doom. Yeah, when a target gets doomed, you just stampede and run away. How good is the lane versus Troll? I feel like Troll should free farm on that lane, but Centaur shouldn't be too threatened if he has a strong support like Rubik. I don't know, something about it feels weird. I don't feel like the Centaur is providing the damage that EG need right now. I agree. I don't like EG's lineup right now. I think that it's... The supports are weaker than Shopify's. I think the Legion doesn't have very easy other cores to play with in this game until later. I like Shopify's much more. I also think it's hard for the EG to like kill Troll without using mm. Disruptor ult. And I, mo I, I guess most importantly, did they take advantage of the first phase Doom? I feel like they haven't stopped him at all with these picks. I think that's the biggest question mark is, is Saberlight just going to take over? I mean, I assume they wanted to play a super active draft and maybe go for an early game build on the Alchemist, but overall, Shopify supports roam better, the Doom is going to scale better, and the Troll should free farm. Uh, I, I, I will go out on a limb here and say Shopify will do better than in game one, Neil. I, I do think so. You think uh, they'll get a kill on a core? <laughs> I do think so. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I'll go out on okay. a limb and say they'll win yeah, this I, game I, too. I, I favor them too. I feel like this Whisper last pick Centaur, it's good, but I think there are better options available for them, especially his specialty heroes like Venom and Bat could have been cool. 
Um, but we'll see. Let's see if they win some duels. We're getting a specialty C smile hero. Uh, I'm just my biggest concern for Shopify is in their last series, I thought they destroyed the draft in the second game and it looked really good. And then they managed to lose just through like getting outplayed in the game. And I think EG could maybe exploit that. Like Shopify needs to be bringing the right heroes and right numbers. And if they don't do that, then like they could just throw this game away. This game might be NA's last hope. It's game two of EG versus Shopify Rebellion with Cap and SVG. That's right, we're very quickly getting into game two here of EG versus Shopify, where uh, apparently there is a lot at stake for this match here, Avery. Not only are we talking about elimination, elimination that was very different from Lima Major. There you were talking about, you know, top six. Here you're talking about nine through 12. That's gonna be a huge disappointment for either one of these lineups, but apparently there is a little bit of a side bet going on here. Oh, tell me more, tell me more. Seconds. Which is Mr. Avo Plus <laughs> and uh, Mr. Oh, Chris Luck, God. aka C Smile. This already sounds awful. Apparently, if Shopify win, C Smile will do a bathrobe uh, walk around the hotel, around the block, outside. And if uh, EG wins, Avo will have to do it. Apparently, this was completely free from any interference of Avo. C Smile just thought, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. And it's not looking so good for this game to start as they're already giving up first blood. They do get fly in return. Matthew is potentially going to die as well. Hit by a couple of grenades. Abed's going to be able to run him down.